Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my previous videos. Thanks to all of you who send me messages and questions. I will be more than happy to reply. Just give me some time, I'll produce more videos for you. But today I'm gonna to be talking about two questions that I receive, I would say the most. The first question is, how does my typical day at work look like? And second one, what is the common pay structure that medical device companies have for salespeople? So if you're interested to learn more, keep watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe down below. I'm not sure which side and like my videos, send me questions, send me comments. I will be happy to read them and reply. Okay, let's start with my typical day. Well, first of all, I have to say there is no typical day and I mentioned it before in my previous videos. There is no such thing as typical or scheduled day for a sales representative. Usually you schedule it yourself according to needs, according to what's happening in your territory and what are your goals and targets. So it might vary, but I decided to generalize my day and to tell you what I typically do. I identified three categories. So the first category is hospital presence or face-to-face -face customer interaction. Number two is emails and phone calls. And number three is business planning. Those three components, and sometimes you do them one by one, or sometimes you can do them in parallel, to be frank, because you never know. The typical day starts with waking up early, checking emails, making sure things are fine, you're checking what is your plan for today. You usually already know if you need to be in the hospital. I do with surgical supplies, so I spend quite a bit of time in surgical room, like in operating room, so I time my schedule to schedule of surgeries. But of course, there are different devices, different companies, different specialties, so they might have some differences. But I think the typical way is wake up, check your emails, go to hospital, spend some time in front of your customers. If you need to train, you train people. If you need to check on equipment, you go check on equipment. Maybe you have some meetings. Then you spend quite a bit of time of calling people, follow-up follow calls or returning someone's calls or uh, scheduling communication on the phone because maybe you will be traveling to a different hospital and they need something from you so you arrange that you also check your emails making sure you are dealing with orders with sometimes back orders on, on products sometimes you deal with complaints about products sometimes you need to provide new information about brand new product and then business planning i would say business planning happens usually on a background you I do it at home, in my home office. I spend about, on a typical week, I spend about 20% of my time. I am determining my goals for the week, for a month, for a quarter, and sometimes for even a year, because depending on at which stage I am of the sales cycle, I talk to my companies I work with. I also identify business opportunities with them. I learn something new if I need to. I put plans together, make my, I arrange my, my meetings for a week to come or maybe a month to come. And this is what takes about 20% of my time. And now let's talk about pay structure. Many students are asking me, what is the typical pay structure of medical device company and how sales reps are being compensated? Again, there is a bit of a variability in that area. I would say one of the most typical ways to compensate for a sales job is to have a base salary and then to have a variable bonus component on top of it. I think that's the most common structure in Canada. I actually think around the world, but it can also be different and it can, it can depend on what kind of product you sell. In some companies, base salary can be larger and bonus can be smaller component and vice versa in some companies and some portfolios, the base salary can be much smaller, but commission component or bonus component can be much higher. To give you an example, let's say if you are selling MRI machines or microscopes, something that hospitals only buy once in 10 years, usually have quite large territory and your sales are not happening on day-to-day on -day basis. In those cases, company prefer to give a bigger component of base salary 
so you are happy with it and you work as a full-time employee but then you have a smaller portion on commission when this, you close the sale so it still motivates you to go and sell because you can have quite a good bonus on top of what you're already making but then you understand that it's not going to happen on a daily basis not even sometimes monthly basis maybe you will only close five deals within a year so you will still have your salary on and getting a just stable income and then you have bonus component on the other hand side if you are selling something more volume dependent something that you can actually scale up easy easily and you will see sales on monthly basis or maybe daily basis something that for example some instruments surgical instruments that surgeons are using every single day like forceps or scissors for example in that case you will you might have smaller base component base salary component but much larger variable bonus component because in that case if you grow your business yeah you still have that safety net that you work and you get paid but then while you're starting increasing the volume and that's the incentive for you to do so you start increasing the volume and your bonus is growing with it i also have to mention that some companies may offer options where you would only be compensated by commission which means that you will only be compensated for what you sold and you will get percentage of the sale it's a little bit more risky but i think it works well if the business is established or if you were sure that it will grow or it will the product that you're selling will be sold I've been working for, in that structure for quite, quite some time. Again, risky, but quite rewarding if you can build a business. In that case, you are on the go all the time and you have to chase all the opportunities. And eventually it's quite satisfy, satisfying and you can actually feel quite comfortable with just commission-based approach. But again, it depends on portfolio, depends on company. You wanna be, you wanna make sure that you have more so established business because otherwise it's gonna be quite risky. You don't have any safety net to rely on. And of course the alternative on the other spectrum, you can have companies that will only give you salary. So it will be just base salary and not so much a bonus component. It doesn't happen often in medical sales because I think in any sales period, I think that's the main driver of increasing sales of going and closing deals because if you are just getting salary i don't think you have enough incentive to go and chase the opportunities and you don't have enough incentive to feel like okay if i can do this and this and this i'm gonna make this much more so i think when you're searching for a job look for companies and ask them what is their pay structure and how that bonus component is being played out according to the, their portfolio i hope it was helpful for you guys if you have more questions, comments, please leave them down below. Also, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. I'll try to reply to your questions as soon as I can. Bye.